Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. You. Keep saying what up. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got some. Uh, yo, we got. Yo, we got Jay Z over here, man. You see what I'm saying? You like, oh, he in the studio? Nah, 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 nah. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people can make it into the studio. You know what I mean? So you know he's got to he's got to take a number if he wants to be up in the studio. Okay. Uh, who else we got over here on deck, man? We got a. Uh, uh, Drake the Ruler's mom, Draco the Ruler's mom's man on deck talking about what she want to do to the festival, man. Uh, 50 Cent with, with her son died. 50 Cent talking about his final album, man. Um, Boosie uh, talking about dinner with him being more valuable than 20K, right? And Bobby Schmurter again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. And yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button. If you're feeling any part of the content, we definitely appreciate that, man. That notification bell is waiting for you to tap us to go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for you to touch us to go on and hit that subscribe button, man. And yo, shout out to all of y'all that be subscribing to the channel, man. Real talk, man. That really means a lot to us. You see what I'm saying? That's right, your boy's a little turned up today because the sky is blue today. You see what I'm saying? Having a bunch of gray days and stuff like that. You know, I can't stand no gray days, man. You know what I'm saying? I love it when it's sunny. Check this out, man. Bobby Schmurda has once told us that he needs therapy for his continuous erections and unending ejaculations. Uh, apologies if you was eating, fam. You know what I'm saying? Particularly milk uh, and cereal. Look, <laughs> look, I ain't make that up. That's what he said, though. You see what I'm saying? I just made it sound more biological as opposed to crass. You know what I mean? I, kn I know. You like crass. Well, now the man has elaborated on what's going on with his penis. You knew it was coming. Look, Bobby was in an interview with Hot 97, right? And he stated, quote, When I came home, I ain't gonna lie. I just stopped like a month ago. I was having, like, real sex addict problems. <laughs> Uh, a lot of folks cannot relate, Bobby. He said, I was just wildin'. I had to chill out. It was like threesome, foursome, fivesome, fivesome. Damn. Fivesome? I had to chill out like last month. I just stopped. I had to cut the... He said, he said it like he just stopped like right before he came into the studio. <sighs> look, look. Uh, cl close quote. He said, I had to cut down. Close quote, right? And now, Bobby, Smurda, you'll have to wait for the test results, fam. Look, as people are having foursomes and fivesomes, you have to assume they ain't the cleanest people in the world, man. You see what I'm saying, man? Look, you you could be mad that I said that, but if you are, then I'm talking about you. You follow what I'm saying, man? Never mind all that. Bobby continued and said, you can't be playing with people's feelings like that. Real ish. Every time you feel you get mad or something, listen, it's better than drugs, you know? Better than drugs and shooting people in the streets, close quote. Look, I kind of get with that. I can get with that, okay? Orgasms are better than murder. But cleanliness beats out both. Don't y'all agree? Or, or is that just my opinion? you like, nah, man, give me the orgasm over the cleanliness. Okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you don't have to love being clean. All right? Maybe that's just me. Check this out, man. Cause, Cause you know, to me, not everybody could just, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> not everybody could sip at the water fountain. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm still back in them, them old days. Like, no, 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 this is not for you. Look, here's the bigger thing, though. As, as much as folks are hating on Schmurter's dance moves, right? He posted how the joint is blowing up on TikTok. I know, I don't, I don't have a TikTok account neither. You see what I'm saying? Um, I saw TikTok. I was like, let me see what this TikTok thing is all about. Then when I went on it, that joint had nothing but like 15, 16 year olds. I was like, no, 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 no. This is more for like R. Kelly speed. This is this ain't my speed. You like, don't do that. Don't do what? Don't do what? Don't do what? I ain't pee on nobody. <laughs> Underage. <sighs> um, my bad. Look, <laughs> look. The man um posted how the joint is blowing up on TikTok. Okay, that's right. You about to see all kinds of pancakes shaking on TikTok any minute now. Especially with, with that dancing with the hips joint. It's a, look, it's about to be a cold winter, man. You know what I'm saying? Bundle up. You know what I mean? Listen, remember that dinner um, with Jay-Z, a 500K conversation? Where everybody was like, yo, would you rather have... A title was like, would you rather have dinner with Jay-Z or um, 500K? Like, title posted that, but I low-key think Jay-Z posted it. Anyway, some poor soul uh, preferred the dinner and got roasted by the internet. Well, Boosie felt it was time for another barbecue, right? And Boosie posted, quote, I got a question for y'all. Let me see who's smart, okay? That, that should give you a little hint that something's about to go down. Let me see who's smart. Dinner with Boosie or 20,000? Close quote. First off, right? I honestly don't think Boosie was going to part with that 20K. You see what I'm saying? No, like, no, the little I know about Boosie, I feel like he wasn't going to part with the 20K. But I digress. Dinner with Boosie or 20K? Someone posted back, after 20K, 
I'm on the way. You see what I'm saying? Uh, now, maybe that's what Boosie meant by smart. He was probably like, yo, who look, who who knows I ain't gonna part with this 20K and gonna choose me? You see what I'm saying? Boosie responded by saying, you sure you don't want the 20K? It sounds like a setup, right? You sure you don't want the 20K? Bro responded by saying, I'm not tripping on that. Just let me know where to pull up. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Boosie said, um, send your number. I'm going to get you out here. My manager going to call you. Close quote, right? The man is now getting a feature on a Boosie track. What have you learned from that story? Post that joint in the comments below, man. You know what I mean? Like, like my people was like, ain't that like the story about Solomon choosing wisdom over riches? I mean, kind of. You know what I mean? Except Solomon specifically was speaking with the creator of time, space, and matter, right? Solomon specifically asked for wisdom over everything else, which should be your prayer every day. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't pray for money. Pray for wisdom, okay? Because we see the results of money with no wisdom. Every day you see the results of that. A lot of people are going to the grave rich, doing stupid stuff with their money. You know what I mean? Pray for wisdom over the money. I mean, you'll have a good face card, right? You'll get like preference among people if you have wisdom. You'll access you'll access things, right? That even money couldn't buy. Like some people, they don't care how much money you have. They just don't like you. You know what I mean? And some people, they, they don't care how much money you give them. They prefer to hook up somebody else. Oh, uh, look, I do that. I do that once um, Oprah couldn't get into the store. When, 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 they, when they declined Oprah from getting into the store, I knew that there was something up. I, just, I knew something was up. You see what I'm saying? Uh, listen, my boy 50, right? I got to blow my nose over here because you know what I'm saying? No, no, I don't got the Rona. I don't got, if I got the Rona, I don't even know about it. I don't think I got it, though. Mask up, though. Anyway, my boy 50, right? You know he's in my top 10, right? Like, for me, you know what I mean? Like, influ like influenced me. You know what I'm saying? In turn, musically, right? Um, he's in my top, is he in my top five? I mean, yeah, because Buckshot Shorty, that's how Shorty was like four, and then, and then he got Pac. Look, 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 let me think. Never mind all that. T maybe top seven, top six. Look, here's the thing. 50 is a heavyweight in the game, and it's looking like the man got one more album to drop before he hangs up the mic. That's right. 50's talking about retiring the mic. Although, I never believe these artists when they say that. Anyway, uh, 50 stated, um, uh, my bad. I was checking to see if that was the Amazon guy. You see what I'm saying? Because I got the, the, the snacks out for the, for, the, for the Amazon people. 50 stated, smile. My next album might be my last. I terrorized hip hop for 14 years. Don't believe me, Nielsen? The numbers will never lie, but I'm nobody's favorite. Shaking my head. Nah, I'm top 10, dead or alive, and I ain't done. Close quote. There you have it. 50 announcing his potential final album, although I don't believe it. Let me do my shout outs real quick. Where we at here? Um, man, I had, a, I had a good one too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dang, uh, oh, uh yeah. listen, 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 let me, let me, let me throw this out of here, okay? My boy G-Bo, okay? Um, shout out to G-Bo, shout out to the lovely Courtney, you know what I mean? I, I hope that's your name, right? Listen, Courtney, uh, G-Bo got a little something that he want to say. Uh, Sauce, can we get that clip for G-Bo real quick? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, listen to your heart. Courtney, I, I think the man loves you. That's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. You see what I'm saying? Like, nothing else. Don't get excited. Um, uh, shout out to uh, <laughs> Red uh, TL. I know uh, G-Bone's going to be looking for me. I ain't going nowhere near um, Minnesota. I, look, look. Red said, I swear I could TikTok your opening. Love your show. I'm like, yo, TikTok it. TikTok it. I don't really care. You know what I mean? It might, it might, it might help me out. All right? Apparently, don't nobody be watching our show. The Marsh came through and said, yo, I've been missing y'all. So it's musician gigs been opening back up a bit. Been rocking out at Rebel Restaurant and Bar. Dope Haitian NYC vibes. Check it out, y'all. Right? Uh, yo, yo, shout out to you. Shout out to the Marsh, Rebel Restaurant, and the whole nine yards, man. You know what I mean? Be sure to support my boy over there, man. Say they came through and say, yo, that's ridiculous. You have over 20,000 views and over 700 likes. Your content is the bomb. The content is already free. So why can't y'all just hit a like so these men can get paid? Say they. Shout out to you, big dog. Um, uh, my boy Lonsdale said he came back from his honeymoon. He was like, hey, you guys. Right? <laughs> if you know, you know. You know what I mean? Shout out to Lonsdale and this lovely lady, man. I love to see, um, you know what I'm saying, family in the whole nine. Shout out to Samantha. You know what I mean? Samantha, I'm talking to you. 
your, your, your man Ben loved you, but you already knew that. Um, uh, Shana DSM say yo, stop it, celeb. You talking about ranks and just doing what's told? Nah, it don't work like that, my G. Bruh, ain't nobody said nothing about blindly just doing what you're told. I don't really rock with that. I don't, I don't believe that. Like, th that's why I could never be in the military. Because right from the jump, I already knew I was going to have problems trying to just follow blindly what folks is telling me to do. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's not what I'm talking about when I say respect the rank. Sonny came through and said, yo, Celeb, this trophy is for you. It's for your hard work, grind, content, videos, empathy, integrity, and love for all people. Uh, love, fam, here's, here's your roses now. Yo, look, I, I love it when it's sunny every single time. Okay, that's number one. Number two, um, I, honestly, honestly, the, the work really comes from the source. The hard work comes from the source. I'm just running my jibs. That joint is easy to do. You know what I mean? I feel like it's source that that gets all the trophies in the world, man. So shout out to the source. Shout out to the source. The whole nine yards. And uh, of course, Quentin Young said, yo, this was a good bit. I, it's just your delivery. Super great reporting. And I mean, it's dope as F. But bro. Change your voice tone. You sound like a 45 year old trying to be a young academic. Just stop. Calm down, bro. Calm down. Okay. Damn. Shaking my head. Quentin. Quentin. Look, this is my voice tone, bro. If I was talking regular, yo, I'd just be talking like this. You know what I mean? But to change my voice tone for someone I don't even know? Get the hell out of here. You kidding me, man? Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> where we at? Let's finish this up because Quentin, Quentin making me ready to go. I'm ready to go now. Listen, uh, with the death of Draco the ruler, that's right, I've been pronouncing the man's name wrong all along. Cause, look, look, check this out, man. It was no disrespect. You know what I mean? It's just that, like, when I grew up, right, I, I just learned how to pronounce and read words phonetically. You know what I'm saying? So when I when I didn't see a dash, I thought it was I thought it was Draco. I don't know, but I don't know. You're like, yo, don't read words phonetically. Read them the way we want you to imagine we want like you to believe what we're trying to no i do phonetically but you know out of respect for um the man in his passing drake o the ruler look with more information being leaked out draco's moms has now come out with a statement of her own she stated this is a this is devastating all right let me just preface this whole thing with that the fact that this mother now has to deal with this because <sighs> She said, quote, he was hitting his neck. I saw him when I went to the hospital. They said it's a homicide. So I wasn't able to hug him or kiss him or anything like that. I had to look at him through a window. I need this to be out there. I need people to know and I do want justice for my son. And I do believe that justice will be served. I will not rest until justice is served. Please moms, please don't rest until justice is served. Real talk. She said, we plan to sue. This happened backstage at an event. Someone has to be held accountable. Uh, they let all these people in and you're not supposed to have all these people backstage and your security is supposed to be in place. You didn't protect my son. Close quote. In her discussion with Rolling Stones, she stated that her son was swamped by approximately 50 people who showed up at the same time as another rap artist. Now, I ain't going to go into who the other rap artist was. Folks are already trying to throw people's names out there. I'm not really trying to do all that because that to me is low key reckless. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know. I don't know who was there or whatever. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Look, I ain't going to do all the homework for y'all. Um, And finally... Look, rarely do you hear from Jay-Z. All we know about the man is that according to Funk Flex, he gets on his burner accounts and scours social media for input on the culture, right? If he's chiming in, it's never as Jay-Z per se. Like, like, it's always through a burner account. Look, look folks are like, yo, why don't you show your face? For show my face. Jay-Z is one of the most beloved mascots of the culture. He's in most people's top 10, almost everybody's top five, right? He ghost wrote for damn near all of hip hop. He has a catalog longer than train smoke. I'm talking longer than a 60 year old titty. And this man, well, it's all biological. Don't get all scared. And this man will not drop the names of his burner account and would rather log off than let y'all know he's in the building. You see, a lot of people can't fathom the idea that Jay-Z would be willing to pass up everyone giving him attention and being in a spotlight for the personal peace and space that he gets to enjoy from the luxury of his burner accounts. You follow what I'm saying, man? Like, sometimes, like, not everybody really wants their face to be out there. Not everybody wants the fame. You see what I'm saying? Some people like their work to be out there without their face. Anyway, look, <laughs> look I, don't, I don't care what folks say. Anonymity 
is priceless. Um, and, and Jay-Z still has the fame. And, and he still gets... Look, the man probably fantasizes about having a new face, but not for the reasons y'all think. The man said in a statement or two, right? He, he, he um, because you know he's trending now. He said, uh, what did he say? Hey, he joined um Alicia Keys Twitter joint, right? And he had this to say, take a listen, take a listen. Nobody can stand on that stage with me. I need this. I, I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect. I, everyone's amazing and done what they done. No one can stand on that stage with me. I'm just telling you guys the real. Like, there's not a shot there's not a chance in hell that anyone can stand on that stage with me for i don't know how long it is two hours one hour two hours right mm -hmm. I, you gotta I, stand in front of the grammy family freestyle live <laughs> you no, no one's no. ever even seen me perform that like you you gotta stand in front of that that ain't gonna never happen man let's let's move on from verses and just get back to the uh this keys album but first, before we move on from verses, we definitely uh -oh. have to give my husband his... Now, um, after Jay-Z said that, Lil Jon entered the chat, okay? And he, he posted, Busta will smoke Jay-Z. <laughs> Close quote, right? <laughs> Look, Busta Rhymes has been dying to eat. We know this, okay? Look, the legend Jay-Z said, no man can stand on that stage with me. It's not a chance in hell that anyone can stand on that stage with me. You gotta stand in front of the Grammy family live? You gotta stand in front of that? That ain't gonna happen, man. Close quote. You know why that wouldn't happen? Because answer this question was. This is why it wouldn't happen. Answer this question, y'all. If Kanye West, who already said he would not go against his boss, which means Kanye respects the rank, right? Which, which statement y'all hate so much. Look, let me be clear about this, okay? Respecting the rank does not mean blindly following. It's me literally meaning the statement, with all due respect, I disagree. You follow me? Never mind all that. If Kanye wanted to battle Jay-Z in a versus, knowing what you know about Jay-Z, which is very little, would you see Jay-Z accepting a challenge from Kanye West? If Busta Rhymes wanted to go against Jay, do you see Jay accepting the challenge from Busta Rhymes? Jay-Z is like, no one could stand on that stage with me. It would never happen. And I'm saying, yeah, because you would never accept the challenge, fam. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I get it. Don't pit Mike Tyson against your neighbor down the block that be running their mouth. That ain't a worthy opponent, right? But Busta Rhymes, Kanye West, dare I say, T.I. against Jay-Z? Who, who would the culture choose? Never mind who the Grammys say. You follow what I'm saying, man? Hey, y'all, let us know what you think of the comments. Jay-Z said what he said. Do you agree with the man or not? The man is trending right now because he's talking about who cannot stand in a whatchamacallit against him. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.